Good morning guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have a very fun video planned. I am going to be putting on makeup for the first time in five years. I haven't worn makeup a single day for five years and that's mainly because so many makeup brands nowadays are so full of toxins and carcinogens and cancer causing substances and they're just not great to be putting on your skin every single day and then having it sit there for over half the day sometimes. So I had opted completely out of wearing any makeup. It completely helped my acne clear up, which was the main driving reason that I wanted to wear makeup in the first place is because I had really bad acne when I was younger. As if you look back on some of my past YouTube videos, you'll see when I had really bad acne and I was still healing from it, but I wasn't wearing makeup. So there was a kind of a hard transition where I wasn't wearing makeup and I still had acne and I felt a little embarrassed about it, but now the acne is cleared up. I, I don't feel like I have to wear makeup, but when Tubes & Co reached out and offered to send me their makeup sample kit, I was like, you know what, that would be so fun to try on makeup again. And I don't think I'll be wearing it consistently, but I think it would be fun to have it for going out for special occasions or holidays or things like that. And I. I just think it would be fun to try it on after five years. All their makeup is completely non-toxic. They make a lot of their stuff with tallow. I think their lipstick that I'm going to be using today has tallow in it. And I have just been absolutely thrilled with the ingredients in all of their products. So I'm really excited to see how they work because it would be amazing if they were if they worked really well and they were really high quality and safe. So you guys will be well entertained by the fact that I haven't put makeup on for five years and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So this will be an entertaining video, I'm sure. So and it'll probably be a little bit of a chatty video. You'll notice that I might sound a little different. I'm recovering from a mild cold, but let's get right into this video. So I have these two bags here. And this has all of the makeup they sent to me. There's some red wine lipstick. I think this is a cheek tint. A candy cane tallow lip balm. Mistletoe tallow balm. It has grass fed tallow, organic virgin olive oil, essential oils, a couple other things that it's got such clean ingredients. I am so impressed. And you guys know that I love using tallow and lard on my hair and my skin. So when a company uses tallow, they're speaking my love language. <laughs> We've got organic lip gloss. This is a brow brush and pencil, I think. Which even though, even when I, even when I used to use makeup, I never used a brow brush. So I'm actually really not sure how to use that. <laughs> but I will look it up. Mascara. And then in this bag, we have a bunch of samples of their liquid and mineral foundations and a primer sample. So here's where my complete ignorance of makeup is going to really show. I think I'm supposed to put the primer on first, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's the primer. Just gonna put some on and see what happens. Don't laugh at me. When Luke gets home today and sees me with makeup, he's gonna be shocked. <laughs> he hasn't seen me with makeup for a long time. He's actually the one who convinced me to stop wearing it in the first place because he just likes a natural look better. But I'm sure he won't mind if I wear it every now and then for fun. I am going to be putting on the liquid foundation because I'm pretty sure you need a brush to put on the mineral foundation and I do not have any, any makeup supplies at all. So I'm going to pick the foundation that looks closest to my skin color. Maybe core? I don't know. I'm just holding it up to my hand. I don't know. Ah! Maybe bamboo. It looks pretty close. If it doesn't match, we can always try another one next. Oh, it's got a little brush. Okay, we are just gonna go for it. Nope. Don't know what I'm doing at all. It matches pretty good. Not that I know how to, to match makeup. I do know you're supposed to 
spread it past your jawline so that you don't have a line in case it doesn't match. I do know some things about makeup. And it smells good. I don't know what's in here, but it almost smells like chocolate. When I used to wear makeup, I always wore liquid foundation and I just smeared it in with my hand. And it always worked out fine, so that's what we're going with now. Okay. I think that's pretty good coverage. I've been looking in the mirror over here. Maybe I'll put a little bit more down here to spread in case it's not blending very well. Okay, now it's time for this cheek tint. And I hope it doesn't come back to bite me that I don't have a, a brush to spread this in with because I always used to use a brush, but I'm gonna use my fingers. I don't know how much you're supposed to push. Cool. I think that looks decent. It's just got a little bit of a tint right under my cheekbone. I think that's what we're going for. It actually has really good coverage. I'm really, I like that um, foundation. If I had it in a bigger bottle that I could squeeze out more onto my fingers, it would be easier. We're gonna do something with this brow brush. I don't know what. I need to look it up. I would like to, I'll probably order um, whatever goes over your eyelids. Uh, eyeshadow. There we go. Thank you. I'll probably order some eyeshadow and some um, eyeliner from them because I really like those two things. But for today, we're just going to put on our mascara and our lipstick and then we're going to be done. This one's done, and this one's not. Whoopsie! Just wipe that off there. Okay, I like that mascara. That looks nice. Now we're gonna put on this lipstick. This is red wine lipstick. It's so red and fabulous. I'm excited for this on. Well, I don't smear it everywhere. Wow. That is red. That's so red. I actually really like that. It makes me feel fancy. All right, let me see if it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna fill in a little bit of um, foundation on this side because I think I smeared the lipstick too much and it's not really coming off. Which is a good sign because it's not just gonna smear off right away on everything while you're drinking stuff. But if you smear it and you don't get it on right, that's a bummer. Okay. Let's go out in the natural light and see how it looks. Okay, I actually really like this makeup. The lipstick is very bold, but I think I like it. I definitely need to practice more. Clearly, and I probably should get some better supplies, like a 
brush to spread the, the cheek tint stuff. And uh, it'd be nice to get some eyeliner and um, eyeshadow <laughs> to kind of completely fill in the look, but I, I like this. Hopefully that was entertaining, seeing me put makeup on for the first time in five years. It clearly needs some practice. But that was a fun video. If you guys want to try Tubes & Co makeup as well, I will put the link down in the description box. I am really thrilled with their products that I've tried so far and the fact that they are non-toxic is the biggest thing to me. So thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.